Hey guys, my name is Editing for Fun and welcome to a new video, it's me. So yeah, today I'm gonna show you guys how to create this effect on Cinema 4D. Uh, a cube exploding into segments using the explosion effect on Cinema 4D. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please thumbs up, it helps me a lot. So yeah, let's start the tutorial. Uh, another thing, I'm, uh, I'm making this video on English because many people ask me about this effect. So yeah, if you guys want a tutorial on Portuguese, I will do, but I think you guys can follow along the tutorial. It's a very simple effect, but it's very sick as you can see. So, we have this cube exploding into segments, so yeah, let's start the tutorial. We can make this with another any object in Cinema 4D, like spheres, cones, cylinders, pyramids, plane. Uh, so yeah, let's start. So I will create a new project, go to settings, output, I'm gonna change the width and the height to... 1280 by 720 pixels, so my English isn't perfect as you can see, but yeah, it's all good. So, all frames from 0 frames to 90 frames. You can change the format, the file, the path, so yeah, it's good. Okay, so let's start. Uh, the first step I'm gonna create a new cube. You can change the size of your cube, size X, Y, and Z, yeah, all of this stuff. But yeah, I will create a simple cube and I will scale the cube with this tool uh, with the scaling tool okay so now uh, I'm gonna uh, search by the exploding effect so click on the bend effect and uh, yeah so explosion so uh, I'm gonna make explosion like a child of our cube so like that we have the cube and the explosion effect below the cube. So, if I go to the strength, you can see like my cube explodes and I can animate the strength. So, on my explosion uh, effect, I have many tabs. On the object tab, I have some options like strength, speed, angle speed, and size randomness. Okay, I can change all of that stuff, but before that, I will show you guys a uh, uh, how to make a realistic animation so go into your cube and you have your segments segments X Y and Z so let's increase the segments uh, if you have more segments your animation will, your cube will explode into more segments so I will I will use height by height by height and uh, yeah as you can see if uh, I animate the strength you can see that my cube explodes into cubes so I can animate this and I can change all of that stuff like speed like angle like in size I can change the size and the randomness yeah so now uh, let's make a keyframe on the strength strength at zero make a keyframe go to up to 50 50 frames maybe here yeah it's good so let's increase the strength and make a keyframe with control like that okay so we have this animation i can make this with other objects uh, i will make this one more time with uh, maybe a sphere i don't know <laughs> if it works but let's see so uh explosion effect a child of our sphere and yeah it works with the sphere as well so uh, you can make this with any other objects in inside cinema 4d so yeah let's make with the cube and now let's create a new floor uh, so floor let's put the floor like that Let's create a new light. And uh, as I said, if you guys want this tutorial on Portuguese, I have a tutorial already on my channel. So when I was a child, I made this tutorial. So my voice was very different. But yeah, you can follow along with the, this tutorial in English because it's a very simple effect. So yeah, it's very easy. Okay, I have my light, my floor, and my cube, and my explosion, and my animation. And the final step is to create a material, so go on the material tabs, double click, 
go to color and change the color to like a blue, bluish, dark blue, light blue maybe, yeah. Uh, change the color to any color you'd like to use, you prefer, yeah. So, let's add the color and now the effect is good. So, this is the effect, I hope you guys enjoy, let's uh, change a bit the the settings I don't like very much, so increase the speed of course because it's very slow. Uh, you can increase the speed here or you can go to the explosion and make the keyframes uh, next to each other. Yeah, the animation is good now. Uh, maybe if you add more segments, more randomness will be the animation as you can see, it's very cool. And yeah, you can make uh, very awesome effects without using Trousy. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs up. It helps me a lot to, to make more videos and be active. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Ah, uh, another thing, you can change the, the size of the pieces. Yes, and you can change the randomness. Okay, so let's play, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, please give it a like, and yeah, I'll be making a tutorial on Portuguese, as I said, as, as if you guys want to. So yeah, uh, don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, sorry for my English, my English isn't perfect, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, so yeah, bye.